Hello, I'm Dan Galpin for The Developer Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. We announced the Android Game Development Kit with a full range of tools and libraries to help you develop, optimize, and deliver high-quality Android games. This includes an extension to allow you to easily add an Android target to your Visual Studio game project, new C and C++ game development libraries, and a full-featured frame profiler within the Android GPU Inspector. Head on over to the blog for more on the AGDK. We announced that Android 12 will have game mode APIs, allowing you to react to the player's performance profile selection for your game, like better battery life for a long commute or performance mode to get peak frame rates. Read more about game mode, game mode interventions, the upcoming game dashboard, play as you download, and the rest of our Android game developer announcements on the post. We announced Android ML Platform, an updatable, fully integrated ML inference stack, including built-in on-device inference essentials, optimized performance across devices, including hardware acceleration when available, and a consistent API that spans Android versions. Learn more about our plans for Android ML, including our early access program, on the post. In August, Google Play will start requiring new apps to be published with the Android App Bundle, replacing APKs as the standard publishing format. Google Play uses app bundles to generate and optimize APKs for different device configurations and languages, making your app smaller and faster to download. Check out the post for more, including an FAQ on app bundles. We're introducing two new security measures to Google Play, additional identification requirements and two-step verification. With this update, owners of developer accounts will also be asked to provide their account type, a contact name, physical address, and verification of email and phone number. We're also taking steps to keep your account safer by mandating that users of Google Play Console sign in using Google's two-step verification. You can find the timeline for these changes on the post, along with some best practices to keep your account in good health. We released the cloud storage for Firebase Emulator part of the Firebase command line interface which allows you to develop and test your app without connecting to production services. It integrates with the rest of the Firebase emulator suite, including the Firebase Auth emulator and the Cloud Functions emulator, unlocking the ability to locally test your app end-to-end -end like never before. Every build product in Firebase now has a local emulator. You can read more about it and how to get started on the post. We introduced a new secure browser policy prohibiting Google OAuth requests in embedded browser libraries, commonly referred to as embedded web views. All embedded web views will be blocked starting on September 30th, 2021. To learn more about how to comply with this policy across multiple client platforms, head on over to the post. We announced Scorecards V2, a major update to our automated security tool that produces a risk score for open source projects. It adds new security checks, scales up the number of projects being scored, and makes this data easily accessible for analysis. Learn more about the kinds of issues Scorecards V2 can detect and how to improve the score of your open source library on the post. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, and stay safe. I'm Dan Galvin for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week deliver high quality Android games. This includes an extension that allow you to easily add to an Android. Wow, can't even go that fast. <laughs>